One of the first things we need to do is get our Step 7 package communicating with the PLC. Easiest way to do that is double click our Somatic Manager icon on the desktop to open Somatic Manager. Then we want to go to the Options menu and select Set PG PC Interface. And we could do the same thing from the Windows control panel. So either way you get here would work just as well. And you see, because this computer has a built-in MPI communication port, Step 7 went ahead and saw that and installed that uh, driver to start with and set our S7 online communication path to that built-in port. Let's go ahead, though, and install the PC adapter cable, which takes the serial port, just a regular RS-232 port, and adapts it over to the MPI network. We select that from our selection area, click Install, and you see that uh, comes up first and offers to set the S7 online communication path to that new device we're installing. And we we'll say, yes, that's okay, and then close. Now you see it's been added to our list of adapters, but we need to set the properties before we go any further. Step 7 offers you the choice of all the COM ports on this computer. Ours happens to be on two. And also lets you set the baud rate that the RS-232 serial port uses. Now this is not the MPI baud rate. This is from the computer to the adapter. And the newer adapter cards have a switch on the side that lets you select the speed. And it prompts to, to make sure that that switch is set to a matching baud rate. Just say OK. And on MPI, we also have the baud rate there at 187.5 kbaud. That's the standard rate. If you know you're not going to be talking to a large MPI network, you can save some time when you're out uh, looking for nodes on the network by setting that highest station address down to a number that's closer to what's actually on the network. And we can also set the address, the MPI address, of this local programming computer. This would normally be zero. About the only time you'd want to change that is if you had multiple programming computers on the network where they could each have their own unique interface. So we just keep clicking OK to work our way back out of the windows. And we've got uh, now the interface installed, and that is our communication option. If we want to go back and select a different communication path. We go back to the same window again, S select the built-in MPI port this time, and now on the built-in port we have properties as well. We can set our highest station address down to 15 or up to a higher number if we needed to. And again, we have to make sure that this computer has a unique address on the network. Now the built-in port and some of the other higher-end interface adapters have diagnostic tests where you can go out and check the baud rate uh, on the network, look and see what your MPI properties are, and we can also go out and read all the nodes that it can find on the network. And we told it to look from 0 to 15, and it found 0, 1, and 2 out available on the network. We also have the option to do a little hardware diagnostic, and it shows us the resources in the computer that are being used by that port. So we can now see that we've set our path over to that built-in port again this time. And we can shut Somatic Manager. And our communications are all set up. We can use the accessible nodes to check that out if we want to. And there's another little movie clip that will show you how to do that.